Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, you guys? It's good to have you all here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, tonight, we're going to be playing um, two daily games, the regular daily games, Wordle and Time Guesser, but then we've actually got two other games that we're going to be playing. One was actually by suggestion. So, Connell, if you're watching this or you're watching it back in the, in the VOD later, that was a good idea for for the uh, higher lower game. We're going to play that today. And hey, you're here. And we're also going to play Coscodal. So let's get right into it. All righty. Wordle. Hey, the Hoff, how's it going? It's good to have you all here. Um, I think I should go with like price. Two vowels and the R and the C. Feels like good guesses. Okay, well, that helps. So the E doesn't go there though. Um, and there's no R. Um, each. Uh, there's no C. Let's go to. Well, the, they can't go there, though. Um, I'm trying to think of something that has a P in it. Like, laps? Yeah, but the E can't go there. We could try it. We could try to get the S and the A. See if there's an S or an A. Okay, there is an S and an A. Okay, well, that's, that's great. But we're not quite there. <sighs> Space? No, nope, there's no C. Spade? No, the E can't go there. So where's something that we can do, like... Spear? Speak. That would work. Hang on, we've got the... We've got all of them out of the spot that they were in. It's a good guess. Let's go. Let's go. Third try. Pretty good. I'll take that. On to Costco. So this is a game where I'm trying to guess the price of this Costco item right here. Um, I figured it made sense because um, honestly, I never shop at Costco because I don't have a Costco membership. And there's also exorbitantly large amounts of things like this is six dozen tortillas um thank you i appreciate it um i really ought to change the text whatever the color of it so you can actually see your messages over here unless i do the do the old squish which maybe i could do um i'll figure it out some other time um six dozen tortillas um, if I got like a dozen tortillas, regular corn tortillas at the store, and this looks like these are like small, let's open this in a new tab. Okay, that actually didn't really help us all that much, other than there's zero grams of something and zero grams of something, and there's 72 somethings. Um... I'm guessing seven. Oh, it's not that bad. That's good. That's good. Um, let's see. I hope. Hopefully, it stays up to up in and the at the correct time because uh, the past last stream I had the chat go and I had to refresh it like five or six times to get it to like keep up, which is weird because it's not like it's it wasn't like it was a crazy long stream or anything. I don't know. Um, I'm stalling. Let's say seven fifty. Oh, I probably have to click here. Seven fifty. Six dozen? No, there's no way. No, no. Let's say twelve fifty. Two dollars per dozen. That seems reasonable. Plus an extra fifty cents, just because. Okay, lower than that. It's actually cheaper than two dollars per dozen. Let's go. 950. Wait, everything at Costco. Wait, hang on. There's like a thing. Hang on. I'm like remembering something. I just had an epiphany. 
Costco has a thing where they make everything be ni- like 99 or like 95 cents, pardon me. It's like blah 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 dot 95 until it goes on like clearance and then it's like 75 and 35 it's like to indicate it um but yeah um i'm not sure let's say because of that let's go 995 because i feel like i'm not too far off surely they're not like that cheap right i don't know they might be i'm gonna go 895 Oh, that's eight ninety eight. Cheaper than that. Six. Oh, yeah, six ninety five. Man, these are cheap. You're telling me six dozen tortillas is less than seven dollars. Six dozen. You wouldn't be able to eat that many tortillas, unless you had like a party, you wouldn't be able to eat that many tortillas in the time before they got stale. That's so many tortillas, y'all. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just salty that I'm, my, more to, my tortillas are more expensive. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, shoot, I guess let's go five, or $4.95. I'm close. 395 between them right at 450 I'm surprised he wants me to be that exact it was 449 449 for six dozen tortillas that's outrageous hang on we got to find another one to play is there not can you not like okay it's only a daily well, fair enough. At least I got it on the last guess. But that is outrageous. That price is so cheap. <laughs> um, daily. I don't know what I'm thinking. Alrighty. This is the flag of Greece, I believe. Greek flag. This looks Greek. Hey, that's funny. We're going we're to be working on something that like, looks very similar to this later today. That's crazy. Um, election of some sort, maybe? I don't know why there's a road flare in the middle of the air. Yes, yeah, Greece? Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought it was the Greek flag, and then I saw something that looked like Greek appear, and I was like, okay, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Greece, where are you, Greece? I just blanked on where Greece is. Hang on a second. Yeah, it's over here. It's over here. We're good. Shush. I don't want to hear it. Um, Athens makes the most sense. It's not going to be the Parthenon. Even though this does look similar to the Parthenon. Um, the Parthenon is much older. <laughs> Duh. Um... I'm just saying somewhere in like the center of town. It's a sign. It is a sign. It's exactly what it is. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's just go like center of town somewhere. Somewhere that feels like it would be near like something government related. Couldn't think of the word. Um, concert hall. See now, but these are okay. University. That's closer museum it could just not be here but let's go in front of like the university right here could be that would be wicked if I could nail this um what are these guys what what is this camera um it's recent, it's new. It's not like crazy old. It could be pretty dang recent. I'm not very keen on my Greek history, but all of these like lights and pyrotechnic, I guess it's not pyrotechnics, but like the, the lights and the smoke um, is just, it, to me, it's seeming very modern, but I could be wrong, I could be wrong. 
Let's go. And none of these people have masks on. Uh, did you have a mask on? Is that a mask on your ear? Could be a mask. Is it very recent then? Yeah, but none of these older people are wearing masks. In my experience, the, it's the, the older people that have been wearing the masks more often. Hey, have you guys got masks on? No, and nobody's wearing anything that's like a ska band shirt. No one's doing any wearing anything that would scream early thousands or like 2008, 9-ish to me. It's just seeming very, very modern. So let's go 2018, eh, 2019. Seven years off across town, but not too shabby. For a first round, that's pretty good. I'll take that. On to the next one. Okay, I'm going to do worse on this one. <laughs> um, hey, guys with white belts, why are you squishing the people into the behind the line? Huh? What's over here? Some sort of armored car thing that has... Oh, what's this language? This could be India. Or Pakistan. Maybe. It also could be more recent than that. If I could see what was in that holster, I could very easily date it, but... But no. What if he's, uh, is he going to the printing press later? Do you guys know that people at the printing press, like, people that work on, like, um, or used to work on, I guess that's not really a thing so much anymore, but people that worked with, like, newspaper printing, they would wear those big old, and, like, bank tellers, you used to see bank tellers with, like, these big old, like, black sleeve things that would go up to, like, usually your elbow, but I guess they could go higher up if you were, like, really getting at it, but it was, like, to get the, to keep the ink off of your nice shirt that you had to wear to work you had to wear like a nice white button-down shirt and then they had these like black sleeve things that they would put on so that your arms weren't getting all in the ink because you were like stamping and writing and whatnot all day so yeah pretty interesting at least um. what's that armband what's that armband man what's that armband Nice haircut. The writing looks Croatian or Serbian. Interesting. That's a good. That's a good thought. That's a good thought. Um. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in. Um, I, it's gotta be, it's, I'm thinking Middle East. I don't know how far East though. It could be, could be over here. Like Thailand maybe. Yeah, maybe it is over like Thailand. Oh no, it's not, maybe not. I'm second guessing myself y'all. It could be, I mean, these people look white, European, maybe American, I'm not sure. Um, most of them, all of them are white, yeah. Um, we're playing some Time Guesser, and then we got the higher lower game. Oh, yeah, what's going on? Like, how am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> My bad. No, I'm doing good. I, you know, I'm hanging in there. I'm... I got through school and whatnot today. I'm grateful to have a chill evening. Yeah, it's good to, it's, the, yeah, it's, and hello. It's good to have you here. Um, let's see. Yeah, and this, this haircut's, the, her, this lady's haircut is maybe saying a little bit more mod, maybe a little bit, a little bit more modern. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, split the difference between Far East and Middle East, and I'm just gonna say India, um, 
I don't know, man. It just feels right. Okay, maybe not on the very tip of the island. Or not the island. The edge of the continent. Um, what am I studying in school? Currently, hospitality management. Maybe transferring over to do a art history major with a letter like a uh i guess it's technically called like a focus in arts fine arts and art history is what it's called but it's it's art history um i love art history that's why i love this game and it makes me feel like a fool every time i mess something up in it <laughs> um but it's good for me because you know i learn more things and everyone learns along with so it's good Let's, yeah, let's go here. It could be a terrible location guess, but I feel like my my year is somewhat close. Okay, yeah, it was, it was more, yeah, okay. Hmm, yeah. Interesting. Right out of there. And you're definitely right with it being closer to... Croatian or Serbian. Yeah. Um, it's okay. That's that's pretty rough though. I should have I should have gone with my initial instinct of it being like 48. Um, Israel's independence. Interesting. Hmm, more you know. Um, instantly, I think German. But I don't want to speak too soon because it could be not. Because the one thing about older cars is that I feel like I don't know. Oh, what does this say? Mont Red. Oh, this is Hale. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is Germany. Yeah, okay. No, I remember this because I actually... This is a really stupid rant. I had to watch a, like a documentary thing for my art history class this semester where we were... It was, it was actually relatively interesting. It was on how art is forged and how fine art and, like, antiquity is, like, highly sought after, especially, like, heads of statues and, like, how oftentimes people will forge them or attempt to forge them to fool a buyer or a museum into keeping it because if it's in one, you know, anyway. It's pretty interesting. It was a great thing, but it took place at the college in Hale, Haley, Germany. It was, it was this place. I just can't find it on the map. Um, Hamburg, Hanover, Berlin. Hey, ooh. Is this also this? Is this a fake hail? I'll keep my mouse on it for a second. Yeah, I can find it. I'll, I'll zoom out. Okay, it's pretty easily findable. I think that's probably the actual one. If that's the one that first stays, it's probably that one. Whoa, now I'm like... I love the place. Yeah, it's right here. Alright. Now. Where... Here... This is a... I like these flags. It's pretty... It's a good picture. Um, film. Somebody scratched the film, dug their fingernail into it, or had a piece of dust on it when they sent it through, or something. Unfortunately, happens often. I don't think there's anything else that I really can find here other than maybe no L. E M -E wait L E U M N A wait, A down here it's like a I don't know what that letter is it's like a little bridge a uh, two section bridge Luna maybe it is an A maybe it's just like a you can't see it oh yeah you can, okay yeah I can kind of make it out it's like down this way and down this way and across here yeah yeah okay. Um, when you're like examining it, it looks like that dark, this dark area goes like vaguely ambiguous up here. But if you zoom out, it pretty looks like an A. All right, L E U Luna. 
Doesn't seem like there's any sort of parade or anything. What year would this be taken in? Fifty-six. Mm. That feels early. Maybe it's gonna be slightly on the right side of the slider. I don't know what that symbol means. The little fork. Flags of Jamaica, Norway, Japan, Spain, maybe? Algeria, Ta dang. Y'all, you can make out. Dang, you got a lot of them, man. You're good with flags. That's impressive. I need to learn myself some flags. That's one of the things, like, I'm, I'm getting better at, like, learning the countries by shape. I don't know what you would even call that skill, but... I've, get, I've been trying to learn more of like what a country looks like just based off of the shape, not even knowing the context of like what size it is or what it's around. Um, so I'm getting better at like the eastern part of the world, but like anything you get into like uh, some of the African countries, I'm just uh, and I don't know why, but I always forget about Mongolia. Whenever I'm when I'm looking at Mongolia or I'm looking at a map and it's blank or something, and I see Mongolia, I just cannot think of the name for it. I don't know why. It's a massive country. Can't ever remember the name of it. It eludes me every time. I'm stalling. Let's go... Here. In 1972. Five years off, and it was in a different... It was a spring fair. Yugoslavia, USSR, yes, very nice, very nice. Getting them all. My guess was here. It was over in Leipzig. Man, how would I have known that? It said right here, hail, 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 that. Who knows, man, it's all right. It was a half decent score regardless. Um, all righty. We mourn our loss, United Hebrew Trades in New York. Well, I'd imagine that this is probably New York. Ladies, Waste, and Dressmakers Union, Local 25, we mourn our loss. Um, this looks like, um, what's Jewish text called? It's eluding me. Jewish text, what's it called? Um, No, no, not like the Torah. I know the Torah. I'm trying to, like, know what the text is called. Whatever. I know one of y'all are tight, but one of y'all are smart. Um, I feel like there's, like, a word for what the... what the, It's eluding me. Anyway. It's gotta be very early. And New York. Now, where specifically in New York City? Not sure. Polish could be maybe. Um, it says of New York. These people could be Polish. I don't know. These bowler caps, the, the bowler caps are throwing me through a loop. Cause you're right, they're seeming more European than like American Hebrew. Thank you. I'm dumb. Yeah, Hebrew was what I was looking for. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, see, look, the the things aren't showing up here again. The texts are or the messages aren't showing up. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm just going to wait to see if they eventually show up. Now, no, another one came through. I'm just going to refresh it. Try it again. Wait, hang on. Let me refresh this one. Chat overlay. Refresh. Okay. Try it again. Right, see, man, I don't know what's, what's the issue with that. It's only been 24 minutes and I'm already having issues with it. Yeah, I saw that of New York. Yeah, no worries. Um, but these people definitely are wearing, like, colder clothing. But it could be that they're, like just outside in the 19th century or 20th century 1900s 20th century you know what I meant um let's go shoot do we think they're gonna be in New York City like on the island do you think they're gonna be elsewhere nearby like just outside because it's gonna, uh, New York yes but New York City or just New York State and they're going to be nearer to like the Statue of Liberty maybe something that would be like 
No, it's probably... I'm going to stay over here, probably. Yeah, let's, let's go... Hmm. Let's go to the Trader Joe's right over here. Trader Joe's. And let's say... I feel like it might be slightly earlier than this because see all a bunch of stuff was around there women's rights was all in here so yeah so we found the exact name of Shanku. i believe it i had some dude that was in here like one of my first couple of streams that was reverse image searching them and typing like the exact like google caption of what it was into the comments and i was like bruh um don't do that but let's see let's go here i think this is a good guess eight years off 1911 right oh and it was the it was the factory fire shoot yeah no i should i should have should have known that i wouldn't have known where exactly where where it was but i do know about the triangle short ways fa factory fire this is like a thing that i learned about in a history class a while back i love history history is great um president kennedy I can spot you a mile away. 1967? He got shot in 69, yeah. Or is it 64 that he got shot? Might have been 64. Shoot. No, I don't... No, don't shoot. He's still alive. Don't do that. Um, Mayfair. You've got just what I need. Not quite. Italy, Italian flag at least. Oh, more Italian flags. Something shoes. He's gonna send the answer, but I didn't want as well. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I do appreciate that. Um, dentals. Nathan. Nathan. Um, art. Something. RTV. This is in your city. No way. That's really funny. Shoot, now that's the Irish flag. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You've walked this road. That's wild. Why am I thinking that's the Italian flag? Why am I dumb? You walked this a few days ago. That's that's super cool. Oh, this looks like uh, L.A. or like um, like. I don't know. I don't even know. What are, what are these like nice street like? It's like little mosaic streets. Where 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 are these mosaic streets at? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely the Irish flag. I don't know what I was thinking with that. <laughs> womp womp. Yeah, it's close, but it, 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 not quite. Um, let's see. Also, isn't there something like... No, maybe I'm going to hold my tongue there. There's not. I was going to say, is there something in the middle of the flag? But there's not. I was thinking of a different country. So Never mind. See, I told you I got to learn flags. I got to learn my flags, man. I got to study up. Um, Where would this be? Irish? What's an Irish... An Irish city... Where's something that it feels like he would go down? Would that be here? Or would Irish be more north? Hmm. I'm curious if it's in Ireland. <laughs> Uh, do fun with flags content. That's a good idea. I should do that. It's in Ireland. Well, that's, yeah. Well, that would make a bunch more sense. 
That's crazy. So you guys have like, these streets are wicked nice. That's cool. I should have known probably by this um, very fancy policeman. It's very fancy policeman. Um, Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. What am I thinking? I'm dumb. I'm not even thinking today. Um, now, would it be? Could it be Cork? Maybe. Limerick? It's a great name. Great name of a city. Limerick? That's a great name. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I live in Limerick. That's awesome. Um, I bet you, I bet you the second I say that, you're gonna, Colin's gonna be like, Pah, the people from Limerick are idiots or something like that. <laughs> I bet you. Oh, let's see. Now, where in Ireland do they have, I've, I, I will out myself a little bit. I've never, I've never gone abroad yet. I would love to go abroad, but I haven't gone abroad yet. Um, fun with flags, yeah, I'm, see now, see now he's saying fun with flags too. Everyone's saying fun with flags, it's not a bad idea, yo, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's go. But I don't want to mess this up for Connell. I don't want him to be like so sad that I missed it. It's okay. It's all right. We're going to go 62 because if it was 69 when he was shot, then this would be closer to. Okay, never mind. I'm just going 62. I'm not even going to try to explain myself. It's 62. quickly that I don't know half African country flood back real real me I would I would do miserably I, I'm telling you I, it would be embarrassing at first I would have to study on my own before I did it so that I wouldn't look like a fool on stream <laughs> could y'all be shaking your heads looking away from the screen going no please just play something else you're so bad at this it's okay it's all right we got to learn somehow right we gotta learn somehow yeah, I think Henry Street. Henry Street, you're sticking out to me. I'm going to go 62 Henry Street. No, no. No, it was cork. It was cork. It was cork. That's so tragic. And it was right here on cork. In cork. That's cool. I need to look at that street. Like, I need to find that street when it isn't flooded with people. Because I think this, lo this uh, looks like a really cool, um, like a really pretty street if it's this mosaic design, the whole thing. All right. But honestly, score, pretty dang good. Only one year off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The best score so far. Dang right. African nations in Ireland fly are the hardest continents in my life. <laughs> well, honestly, yeah. Yeah, true. Alrighty, for final score of 36,000, 36, not 100. <laughs> 3,600 would be pretty bad. Not too shabby. I've gotten better, but I've also gotten way worse. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, right into higher or lower game. This game basically is me guessing whether or not Silicon Valley has been Googled more or less times than Macau? Macau? Macau. Macau. So I'm trying to see, I'm trying to guess higher or lower, and I'm trying to get a, trying to get a high score. I've got a high score of zero, never played it before. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Wait less. Mafia 3. <laughs> um, right now, I'm going to say lower. 
child care has higher for sure what you're kidding dude child care has like 30k that's it um if i get it wrong you have to restart yeah so that's the thing is that i got three that time and now i gotta just try again but i honestly i'm gonna grind this out i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a good score here hsbc is lower whoa i don't even know what hsbc hang on hsbc it's a personal banking site it is tax season that does make way more sense oh nasa definitely has higher right got it Uh, the first two be the same on all the games. Interesting. Shanghai, NASA's got more. Yeah, NASA's got way more. Uh, losing screen. Yeah, no, the losing screens are pretty top tier. Um, Hotmail has less probable. Oh, this could be close. It really shows people don't care about child care companies. <laughs> True. True. Holy moly. Is that like ever? Hang on. I need to figure out like how this, it doesn't even give you like a title screen or anything. Beer is definitely higher, but not by like, I thought that'd be like millions. There'd be millions of people being like, wear beer, wear beer here near me. Beer now in mouth. Uh, it's the time frame of these counts. I have, that's what I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is like I don't know. Okay, monthly, that helps. Um, cause I. So this is this month. Do do we know where it's coming from? Do we know if it's coming from out of like the whole world, just across Google? Like this is Google Trends, or is this is like out of a specific country? Cause that would help. Yeah, I think it is the past month then. Um, amnesty, it's gotta be more than beer, right? No, people like beer more than amnesty, no! <laughs> Uncharted 4, Paso, oh shoot. Okay, Uncharted 4 has a lot, Passover's not gonna have as many. Let's go, got that. Anything religious, is gonna, this is gonna have more. Yes. NBA 2016 as of this month compared to Mad Max. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not crazy well versed in the um, NBA 2K sphere, but I'm assuming that the more recent ones are going. Yeah, no, the field screens are great, right? The. Uh, data has been average monthly globals in 2016 in 2017 pardon me I misread it okay so that makes way more sense then so it's gonna be a bunch more then what all of my hypotheses were thrown out the window Kevin Durant's gonna be higher than Grand Tortino yeah Turin Tort you know, Tortino. Oh, Margaret Thatcher might be more actually. Shoot. No, I don't think it's. A... I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that would that would have been real dumb. Comcast. Comcast is more. Oh yeah. People are trying to get their internet fixed. Driving instructor. Way less. It's just four million. Yeah. Okay, and anything's gonna be more than this. Badminton's definitely higher than that. Yeah. See now I, you get you get like up like this and you're doing okay. It's when it starts to like be near the middle that I start to get a little bit like, oh uh, I don't know what the next one is gonna be. Because you can hedge your bets a little bit. Moscow Mule versus Badminton. I bet you Badminton is more. I bet you not as many people wanna make I, people do like their beer. We did learn earlier, people do like their beer. And while this is not beer, this is still alcohol. I'm gonna say lower. Okay. Whew. Um, 
vampire. Man, come on. Man. No, no thumbs up. That was bad. Uh. All right, get a score of nine or more and you're in the top 10%. I gotta get nine. That's my goal. That is a generation of people that have been not traumatized, but definitely changed. Changed in a way that I don't think everyone was prepared for changing. We've all we've all witnessed some things. I think I truly Oh man. He is his own he is his own man. He really is. He he wa he what does it say? He marches to the beat of his own drum. That's what it is. Yeah. That's who yeah, gotta be more. Gotta be less. Yeah, okay. This one's gotta be next. Overlay and have a. Wonder if you can have make the poles overlay and have a left or right for this game. What do you mean? What do you mean? Have me like in the center. I can do that. I can just move me to the center. One. How's that? Look, you have a little tiny logo of me because I put my logo on everything. It's also on my Chrome, on my Chrome profile. You hear something else that's really funny is I use this logo for like, like I said, like everything, right? So I'm in class and my teacher's got like her computer or my teacher, my professor's got her uh, computer like screened up onto the double projectors. And so we're like looking at it because she's like checking our names off for a quiz or something, whatever. And she, um, she's like scrolling through it and it's like everyone's profile pictures are there. And it's like everyone has either a face or is blank. And then mine sticks out like a sore thumb because it's like a fancy like, like little clean emblem of like EG, Emery Crip. But yeah, Charlotte's Hope's got me more. So the username that's awesome i wish i still had like the i actually need to adjust this camera setup just a hair more to make sure i'm actually in the middle where's the middle i was in the middle right. wait now i'm low though there we go sorry <laughs> how to get that fixed ufos gotta be higher right yeah, yeah, people are worried about them aliens. Gonorrhea. Oh, that's unfortunate, y'all. Um, I really hope gonorrhea doesn't cause as much tension or in a relationship. Um, I hope, well, I mean, I guess it probably would. Um, no, I mean, there's an interactable poll where you can have the chat vote left or right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I could do that. I feel like that might take forever, though, if we're being honest. Because there's like, well, no, there's it wouldn't take forever because there's like four of us here. There's like, or I guess there's six of us here for now, right now. But yeah, we could do that. What in the world is gonorrhea? Do, if you were to Google it, do not look at Google images. Like, first off, I don't know what it would show. But it's a condition a condition medical condition I'm not, I'm not saying don't google it because it's a medical condition it's not like it's something that's scary and alien but it's uh definitely uh not good <laughs> i'm gonna say lower okay Woo. well i guess i don't know really, it was gonna be it either way crossfit People have got to be getting fit, right? That's a shocking number of people that did, that were Googling gonorrhea. Concerning number of people Googling gonorrhea. Let's go. Let's cro CrossFit was big. You're going to look. Rest in peace. Oh, speaking of salute, guys, I added in emotes into my chat. So you won't see them in, Google, in the YouTube chat. But you should see them like here. I the bet if you have the better TTV extension and the one of the other 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, or one of the other extensions to like add an emote, you should be able to hear. I'm not. I'm not recommending spamming it because it, my the like moderation bot that I've got might freak out about it. But like, yeah, feel free to try it. I'm. I haven't tried it yet. So yeah. Um, CrossFit gotta be more. People gotta be. Mm, that's six hundred thousand people. So, yeah, mistakes were made. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I did tell you. I did warn him. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go. Oh, no. I don't know. People are getting fit. Higher. Yes. Okay, good. All right. People are getting fit. Ooh. People really like McDonald's, though. Yeah, I think people are going to McDonald's. Yeah, a bunch of people are going to McDonald's. Not as many people are... Not 13 million people are Googling David Bowie. There's no way. Yeah, I, I believe a million. I believe it 100%. Ooh, Samsung's gotta be higher though, right? Gotta be. It's gotta be like in the millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Ooh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a good one. This is a good one right here. Also, look at our score right there. Look at our score. Let's go. Um... I think this is gonna be oh shoot see now I don't know the I know that there is international coverage uh, for T-Mobile but I don't know compared to the broad reachingness of Samsung if someone tells you not to look at something yeah I, I know I once I said it I was like shoot this is probably leading down a path where he's not gonna be happy with this but I I, I did warn you man I apologize <laughs> Uh, oh man, T-Mobile could, uh, you're right, because now I'm seeing this right here, you do see a lot of T-Mobile ads in professional sports games. You do see a lot of those. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is a combo breaker. You're right. Um... Oh no, I bet you it, I think it's gonna be lower. Okay, it was, good. Double digits, double digits, let's go. David Beckham, lower. Easy, easy. Disneyland, definitely higher. Okay, only double. I'm, I'm on a roll. Okay, this one was like 600K if I remember correctly. Yeah, 630K. Cool running, <laughs> great movie fabulous movie if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it jamaican bobsled team oh it's a great it's a great movie it's a classic um but compared to a moscow mule though cool runnings is an old it's like a 90s movie yeah it's not an old movie but it's an older movie because it's a Disney movie, but it's an older movie. Because I, I think this is a 90s movie, so it probably wouldn't be as popular. So let's say this could be unfortunate. This could be a, this could be it right here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's keep going. Let's do it. Pomeranian, definitely higher. People love dogs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm, Teresa May. Teresa May. Teresa May. I bet you this will be close, but I bet you this will be lower. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? It definitely higher. Yeah. And I bet you the next one's gonna be lower. Car wash? <laughs> I bet you this will be... If it, now, now I gotta play a different game with it, because now, now I'm getting pretty good at it. Uh, car wash. Let's say this is gonna have around... 400,000? No. Everyone, a lot of people have cars. Let's say like 800,000. Because people want to know where car washes are near them, right? As many as beer, though? Maybe not. 400,000. I'm going back to 400,000. Ooh, it was a million. You can't find the emotes? Okay, so you should be... If you know... Okay. I don't know how to explain this. Because it, it might be just like work that I don't want to like have to impose work on y'all but like it should be the thing where you type like here let me type in the chat real quick so you guys can see like that 
it should pop up an emote right here, but it didn't, so I don't know why not. Never mind. It's not working. I thought it would. I thought it would be like the thing where like you put the you put the text down here and then it changes it to emotes when it goes when it pipes through the system. You know what I'm talking about? I've seen that before. I tried it out. Apparently it's not working. I'll figure that out for the next time though. Oh shoot. When did he play? More. No. No. That's tragic. That's tragic. Okay. Well, top 10% isn't too bad. I'll take that. Still frustrating though. Alrighty. I'm gonna get the server started up for the other world started up. Oh, look, all the messages. Gonorrhea. <laughs> oh man. Let me get the world started up for Minecraft. Yeah, I totally have these emotes turned on. I don't know why they're not working. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, you know what? Maybe I also have to have the extension or something. I, who knows? I thought I did have all those extensions. Who knows? Anyway, keep looking. One second. It's almost up. It takes forever for this world to start up. It's a large world. It's gonna be like two FPS when you get here. When we get in, are you ready? Waiting for it to say J. God jam. Okay, there we are. I am loading in right now. See, yeah, I thought it would work, man. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'll get it to work. It's annoying, though. See, now we're just waiting for the chunks to load. Hey, we're getting there. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Orlando? Good to have you here. Thank you for tuning in. We're working on the temple tonight. This is this is the temple, as you can see. I hope you can't hear that lawnmower of a car outside. No, okay, we've got good noise cancellation. There's a car outside that sounds like literally like a a moped or a like a go-kart is more accurate. It sounds like a go-kart. It's almost nine o'clock at night. Where are you driving your go-kart? Also, wasn't it raining earlier? I don't even remember. But it's a lot of quartz to make this. So I'm currently in the process of getting more and more quartz. So, and it's taking m more and more time to get more quartz because I have to go further and further in the nether to get exposed quartz to get it the quickest. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a really, it, I've been, uh, yeah, there's been some progress. I'll be honest, I've been playing a lot. We're on day slash time query day. 2256 now. We were on day, I don't even remember what it was. Um. Yeah, no, I feel that. Motivation is, is super hard. I have to take it in chunks. So I think last we saw, you guys saw, I hadn't done any of the roof or this internal structure yet. So I got the I got the frame of it set first. So I did like the outside border. Mark our IRL. <laughs> um, yeah, literally. It's literally what it sounds like outside. Um, but I got, you can still see where like, that's where I did the frame and that's what it looked like on that side before I flipped it up or before I like built it up. Also, I have creeper explosions disabled because this is like a building server. So it drives me absolutely bonkers when I'm in the middle of a build and people are like, Oh, that's cheating. Why do that? But man, it's we're I am level 92. These guys can just keep hitting me and I do not care. It like, it's fine. Truthfully, when it comes down to it, you're just trying to have fun, man. It's all just a, it's all just a way to have fun. So if this if this saves me time and saves me pain, then that's that's what I want, really. Truthfully. Alrighty, but I think we're nearly to the end of our quartz supply. Let me sleep real quick. Oh, as long as that skeleton doesn't shoot me. Oh, he's seeing me. Oh, oh, you missed. Oh, you didn't miss that time. How? That arrow wasn't on fire. Hey, don't appreciate that, y'all. I'm gonna cook. 
cooking like a steak. They are the worst, I'm telling you, man. And so I'm like, there's definitely a point at which, or I don't know, I don't know about definitely, but for me at least, or Evan and I, um, SW Fish and I, on this server, we we were just like, man, if we're if we're building and we're not like actively trying to like progress in the game like we've already beaten the dragon all the times we've done all the like progression and like scaling we need to do we're working on mega projects we're working on massive like industrial builds and farms and stuff like that it makes more sense for us to just not worry about it or not i don't know maybe 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 it's uh maybe it's ridiculous but yeah you think the skeletons are, are worse yeah that's fair that's fair the skeletons suck we have harnessed the power of skeletons. This is the last of our quartz, though. I had gotten so many. Uh, we did get a bunch more of these frog lights. I sat um, AFK at my frog farm for like an hour or so today, which helped. But there's actually more back at it. I was full of my inventory. I was full. And I, while I was poking around, um, grabbing quartz, I stumbled across a couple bastions, and I grabbed the good stuff out of it. But, yeah. So, I think... We are headed to the nether for another nether trip. Do I have a... No, I don't have an empty one in there. And I need some fireworks, though. I've got plenty in there, though. And that's the... Okay. Alrighty. Is there anything we need to grab before we head out? Uh, you might... We might as well build with this course that we've got right here. Hit that tree yeah we might as well just get some of the, some more of these down I could also fill in the brick uh, the quartz bricks that go in there like I did over here the slightly different texture just add some variety and um, eh, I don't know later um, if you guys were curious I'll show you in a bit what I'm modeling this after so you can get an idea of what something similar to what this is going to end up being. It's not going to be perfectly what I'm going to go for because, uh, like I said earlier, this is going to be the Hall of Signs. So this is going to be like the place where we commemorate and like memorialize massive builds and like big events and stuff that happens on the server. But hang on, let me make sure that the it doesn't turn off. Wait, no, I actually did. then don't stop after three minutes without a player and then i can disconnect real quick and hop into my single player super flat or it's my testing world and here is where we've got mod <laughs> taking it's good sweet time there we are you can see my counting because i keep taking screenshots to be able to reference uh screenshots of it but this is what i'm modeling it after this was a schematic I found. So this is the this was the original one, and this is what the interior looks like. This isn't quite what my interior is gonna look like because uh, I already said it. It's gonna be a hall of signs. How many people are on the server? Just Evan and I, actually. Occasionally, um, Annika hops on. Um, her name is the outlawed otter you've seen like a memorial for her and her grave sitting there she hops on like very rarely but for the most part it's like evan i was like our building servers where we build a bunch but yeah yeah so yeah this is what this originally was and i've i've taken off i've chopped off this massive thing right here gotten rid of all of that um because it was just a lot it was so much space like you can tell how massive this building is and also, I, I liked the sandstone. It fits for, like, if we were always going for, like, a... Um, what, oh, you see all these bats spawning? Oh, yeah, I've got a command block somewhere that kills bats. It's pretty nice. It's pretty satisfying. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it looks good for if you were building something like the um, Parthenon. But I'm going for something that looks a little bit more, like, like fancy. And I, yeah, like, only three people. Yeah just us we've just had it for 2000 almost 2300 days yeah I, for some for some weird reason during one of the updates 
it stopped showing the day counter over here. Like if you look over on the F3 screen, you can usually see it. Uh, I think it's like right here-ish somewhere on one of these lines. I think it's on the facing one. It's like right here, day, blah, blah, blah. And it says it on every other world that I get in. But on one of the updates, something kind of corrupted. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, uh, something weird corrupted or something with this world. Luckily, nothing was like lost. Thank God. I have many backups. <laughs> there's not like, there's no worry of like griefing or anything because I, the, the automatic backup system of this is fabulous. It has worked very well when there's been issues with like something happens and something catastrophic happens and a bunch of TNT goes off and blows up things that they weren't supposed to or something like that. Or, you know, an April Fool's prank to like, I think last year I sent uh, SW Fish a video of like the entire um, village that we had just worked on being destroyed with TNT for April Fool's. And I was like, hey, hey. It was a good one. I thought I, I I thought that was a funny one, but yeah. And then we like revert. Like I made sure that I made a backup before I did that, and then we were like reverted back to that one. But it was funny to scare him there for a second. Alrighty, into the Nether Zoo, farm some corn. Ooh, you know what, guys. I just thought. Go go into the advancements. You can see blocks placed. Yeah, yeah. Let's go do that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be here. Advancements. Uh no, it's gonna be in statistics. Block wait, hang on. Jumps, no blocks placed. Oh, okay, it's gonna be every single type of block. No, okay, never mind. Wait, hang on. Items? Oh, yeah. Items. Duh. There we go. Wait, can I sort it by, like, placed, dropped? Oh. <laughs> so this is when, so dropping all of these concrete powders, we have a plugin that allows us to drop concrete um, as a stack into um, times used, maybe? Block of quartz has been crafted. Wait, hang on, where'd it go? Crafted 6,100 times, placed 6,200, and used 6,283. Yeah. How's that? Oh, I mined them. Yeah, because he made some and then I just stole some of his that's right I was like wait how does that happen yeah that's how that happens swag but yeah the most is hang on let's go to blocks mind or no hang on times used there we go the pickaxe has been used 200,000 times shovel has been used 131,000 times fireworks are getting up there too i fly around a lot can i go to like flown and whatnot yeah yeah yeah. look at this um distance flown 736 kilometers <laughs> distance sprinted 700 711 kilometers those are pretty even actually i'm kind of impressed with myself i thought that the flown would have been way higher than the sprinted and the walked is also getting up there as well oh that's why elytra that's what i was looking for that's what it is. 8,000 kilometers. Yeah, that makes way more sense. I don't know what flown means then. Maybe it means with a trident? Um, are you looking for just like total items placed ever? I don't think I can give you total items placed ever, but this gives you a rough estimate of how many times I've done each thing. And also the reason that these probably say zero for the concretes because I dupe a ton of concrete dupe it with the end portal machine where it, it it like shoots it up and it like glitches out and it thinks that it splits into two it duplicates it crazy novel <laughs> alrighty in the nether we are this is the main highway the north south highway 
the east-west highway is way longer than the north-south highway. Um, and I've been going for surface quartz, not stuff that's in the ceilings or anything, stuff that's sitting on the ground ready to grab. And stuff that isn't in like single block ch segments, stuff that's in like big old chunks. Distance flown, traveled upward, and flown. I don't know how it works other than using like, right? I don't, I don't Hang on, that looked like stuff on the side of this. Where was it? I swear I just saw something. Oh, there's stuff over here. I'll grab that. Sir? I don't know how that just bounced off of me. Didn't even hit me. Did you see that? That was crazy. Oh, there it is. There's some stuff. And also over here. Ow. Hot. We. Dude, you know what drives me crazy, y'all? Is when you're when you're on the edge of one of these lava fields or lava oceans, I guess. And you're on you're on soul sand and you're crouching on soul sand and you get over the edge and because the lava is technically higher than the soul sand is even though it looks like it's lower than the soul sand is and it like singes your toes gets me every single time it's quite annoying quite. Same time. Sorry, I was just rereading your message to see if I had missed something because I feel like I had maybe misread it or something. Alrighty. Here's some. Ah, see, now this is why I don't go for single blocks because I just wasted an entire firework to get one piece right there. And keep going. Whoa! Keep going further. Get about 1,100 blocks out. You start to get more of these sticking out. And I'm going for ones that are on the ground usually. But while we're headed out, we might as well get the ones that are in the walls. They're in the walls. They're in the you know what walls. Whoa! That's just. I thought that was. I could jump across it. You can definitely not. Uh, do I want that piece, or is there anything else that I can get? Yeah, let's go over here. Hello, guest. I would love your tier, please. Ooh, two tiers. Three tiers. Very nice. You, sir? You, sir? Can you? Oh, there's a third one. I heard you over there. Can you guys hear the game? Hang on. Do I even have the game, like, turned up? Huh. Hmm. That probably helps. Now you guys can actually hear it. I do need to adjust the levels, probably. Oh, whoops. Hey, man. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Oh, that's right. That's what I was going to do. I was going to pull up... the. I, I found a new playlist that we were going to try out today. Sorry for the sudden, for the sudden change. Uh, same guy, Harris Heller, but this is his hi-fi playlist. I've been listening to the chiptune one a lot, but it's only like an hour 50, but I love the style of it. And I've been trying to find stuff that's a similar vibe. He has a bunch of like EDM and electronic stuff. And I was vibing out to some of that. It was like club music in my car today. I was trying to check out some songs to see what I could play on stream tonight. And it was just like, it was like a, it was like a dance floor. Yeah, no, I know. I, I really like Harris Heller music, man. I, he has done an outstanding job, and he has so many hours of songs on there. It's wild to me. It's a lot of guests. This is a prime location for guests. I haven't even gone for any of the courts on my left. Come here. 
Ooh, that was close to that fire. Quartz over here. I like to do those fancy spin moves when flying to cancel your momentum rather than just run smack into something. One of those one of those little twirl things you learn when you're flying with the elytra. Oh man. I used to love going through elytra like like courses. Like flying like oh, you know what would be fun is if I went like through like a elytra like a speed run. Whoa, hey guy. Hit him. Oh, okay. Not me. Why are you coming closer? What are you doing? Oh, into the lava. No, we got it. Yes. Oh, I didn't have my lighter on. <laughs> Forgot I took that off so I could fight them. I was getting double teamed. I was like, all right, game time. Since this song has some 8D qualities to it. Oh, I missed. <laughs> that was funny. Come here. There you go. Did I get both of them? I think I got both of the... Oh, no. I, I did get the tier. I heard it go... Oh, two of them. Hey, guys. That was clean. Ooh, you guys hurt. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that looked like he ran away because of the sword. That was funny. Or because of the bow. That was great. Oh. Mm. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where did that... There it is. Hey. Oh, there's skeletons over there. Let's fly away from them. So Evan and I have been talking about possibly changing up the server, and we have kind of changed it up, but we're trying to find a balance for the Elytra because it feels like, as it has always been, it feels like it's... What's the word? Just disjointed or less grounded feeling like you feel like you're more disconnected from the world which is good in some ways you can like get out of danger really quickly uh, most times you can like try you know fly places really quick compared to you know your walking speed so you can get places much quicker and it's just easier to get from place to place and move stuff around and whatnot but it feels less fun when you're like uh, noodling around with your friend and you're like you know hitting each other with the sword and then one of them just takes off and there's no possible way of like getting them right does that make sense and it's like whereas like if we were all on the ground it's more of an even playing field of like it's not a flight sim <laughs> but maybe that's the goal maybe I just need to get better at dog fights in Minecraft I don't know maybe that's all it is but it's, it's something that we've been trying to, like, figure out how to navigate. Because it's, it's something that's very useful, but it's also relatively annoying when it's like, okay, but, like, come down here. Come to Earth. It's like, you know, one person will be building or something. The other one's just, like, soaring by. And it's fine for getting from place to place as well. We, what we've ultimately decided on is that it's fine for getting from place to place, but when you're just like hanging out in the town, it makes more sense for it to for you to not, or it's a courtesy to not, I guess. I guess you could theoretically still use it in town, and we have still used it in town. Um, he, I mean, he was using it when he was fooling with me last time we were on the server on Tuesday. Um, when I was streaming the server first, he was flying around, you know, back and forth. So, yeah, it's it's definitely more of a dynamic thing, more, more than a hard, fast rule. We're not, like, 
It canceled all my momentum there. Did you see that? That was weird. I must have ran right into the like hitbox of the ghast. I thought that would hit that fireball. It was almost cool. Where's all the spoils? Hmm. Is it crazy or is it like really dark? No, it's not really dark. It's just that I have a light, light bulb shining in my face. Big ol' empty gap here. But it's in the ceiling. Man, I'm not so super hyped about that. Whoa! Punk? What was that about? Sir? Yep. That didn't feel good, now did it? wonder if Hypixel Party would be fun. Yeah, um... That would be fun. Like, uh, like doing something on Hypixel. I've, I've considered doing, like, streaming Bed Wars or something like that, but I... I'm trying to stay more towards the less competitive, more chill side of streaming when it comes to most games. I mean, as you can probably tell, I'm not going for like the most crazy intense speed run or anything like that. I'm just going for us to have, to have a little bit of fun and goof around while we're here, you know? But um, I thought that maybe doing some Bed Wars would be fun because I do have a couple years experience in Bed Wars. But you know what I would have been great at? Pausing the song. Little rant, get on my soapbox. <laughs> you guys remember, you guys remember Mindplex, of course. There was a game on Mindplex that was like, shoot, now I can't remember what it was called. But it was basically like Counter-Strike. It was basically CSGO in Mindplex. I don't remember what it was called. But it, I was good at that game, y'all. I was good at that game. And I was also really good at survival games. Those two were like, I loved those games when I was like real little, but unfortunately, R.I.P. Mindplex. But what can you do about it? You know, man. If if I wish that sometimes there was still that community or at least that server back, because like it's not it's not ever gonna be the same if it were to come back. But you know, it's sad to have like to think that like some of those maps that I like very distinctly remember in my mind are. Not really, uh, Mind Strike. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what it was. Thank you for reminding me. I loved Mind Strike. But yeah, it's just, it's weird to think those maps that I, like, have basically, like, ingrained in my mind in the Minecraft version of them. Because I know the, the CS2 version or the CSGO version of them as well, but I, like, ingrained the Minecraft version of them in because it had, like, little, little sneaky little extra bits in them. But anyway, rest in peace, Mindplex. For real. Not quite enough to reach. Can I get that block? <gasps> nope. <laughs> if I had like a couple more blocks, it would have been fine. Did I have a stack? Okay, no, I didn't. At least I don't have to feel like a fool for already having a stack in my inventory. Yeah, man, I don't know. I really enjoy just hopping in Minecraft and finding, like, a podcast to switch on or a really long YouTube video to watch. Wendigoon. Love some Wendigoon. Make some fabulous content. And I just switch on his videos for, like, oh, shoot, Wendigoon posted a four-hour video? Bet. I can I can grind out a ton of stuff in Minecraft now because I can, you know, just have something in the background to listen to so I'm not listening to my thoughts. You know, got to have something to drown out the voices, right? Where is Warehouse Mouse? Now, where is the quartz? How is your day going? My day is going pretty well. I appreciate you asking. How about your day? I had a, I had a pretty reasonably chill day. I mean, I had classes and whatnot, but... I mean, I don't have anything going on tomorrow other than doing a bunch of bunch of homework for this project I'm doing, but you know, more of this, more Minecraft, you know, more of the same. Got some web games, got some got some stuff in the pipes for working on for possible other stream ideas. I've been thinking about some stuff. You guys have been so helpful with ideas. 
But yeah, that's about how my day's been. It's been pretty good. Plus, streaming always makes it better, dude. Yeah, I, I love streaming. Y'all are great. Y'all make it fun, for real. True. And the reason I'm collecting gas tears while I'm here is because I was looking through it. My <laughs> that, that's a that's a funny suggestion. Um, maybe I'm not I'm not a big Fortnite guy. I do love some battle royales. Battle royale is my thing. Um, but not Fortnite. Fortnite's not quite my jam. Fortnite is turned into a forever game like PUBG is. And it's... Well, yes, Minecraft is also a forever game. You'd be like, ah, oh, what are you saying, Emery? This is also a forever game. Yes, it is. But you can also go back. Which is something you can't do in Fortnite. Unless they specifically bring it in as like a... For a special thing. You know, you just like get what I'm saying? I don't know. But Forever Games was something that I saw in a very recent um, uh, video essay. I couldn't quote the guy who, who it was. I don't remember what his name was. Um, but he talks about how video games have just turned into more and more of like keeping someone active in a game versus bringing them like legitimately good content, which has always been the argument, right? It's always been the like quality over quantity argument, right? Like when is too much... When is it too much? When is it not enough? But, yeah, it, it, Fortnite's just not my style. I don't know, man. I've been uh, I've been on a kick of playing some... Let's see, what have I been playing recently? I do love some Power Washing Simulator. That's, some, that's a fabulous game. I've been playing some... Uh, oh, I play some... DayZ and Ready or Not. Can't stream Ready or Not. Sorry, y'all. I would get <laughs> kicked off uh, YouTube so quick. Be like, and you've been banned. That would be unfortunate. But, um, yeah, I've been playing some Ground Branch and some, some FPSs, some, some stuff like this. Um, everything, you know, just trying some stuff everywhere. I, I enjoy stuff like uh, Papers, Please, and Beat Cop. Those are some great chill games that are fun to play. Ooh, you know what? Beat Cop would be a great game to play on the stream. I should totally play that game with you guys. New idea, because it totally fits the vibe and the style and everything. Holy cow. I just had an epiphany, you guys. Bling! Creative light bulb. I'm writing this down. Hang on, let me write this down on my phone real quick. I apologize, but this is a great idea. Play Beat Cop. Have you, ever, have you guys ever heard of Beat Cop? It's a fabulous little 8-bit game, like a 2D, not side-scroller, but kind of similar. It does side-scroll, but it isn't a side-scroller. Um, play Beat Cop next stream. There you are. Y'all, you guys, you four who are here, have something to look forward to next stream. You guys got a little sneak peek of what's happening next stream. I think I'll I think I'll start over on it. That way we can get a fresh new start on it and get get us all playing at the same or you know get it all all on the same page. You know. Alrighty. Ooh, big vein. Let's go. Yeah, and this is 8 bitty. I enjoy this. Yeah, but Beat Cop, and I was also looking back at the other streams that I was doing with LEGO Star Wars and LEGO Indiana Jones. I gotta get back to those, of course. I gotta. Gotta get it all in a rotation, you know? I just gotta find that balance of how much of each game. Of Whoa! Chill out there, Lava. Don't cook all of my quartz, please. Ah, we are full. Our inventory is full. Uh, 
That was really funny that he suggested to play Fortnite. That was, that was pretty gold. It's like the quintessential uh, first time chatter coming in and just being like, you should play Fortnite. That's that was that was high quality. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was pretty funny. The epitome. Okay, so I don't know what it is. I always knew I knew the word epitome growing up, but I never saw it written down. I always ever I always heard it heard it, never saw it written down. And when I saw it written down the first time, it looks like it's epitome. And it looks like it's a completely normal word to be epitome. Yeah, and I, I definitely said thought epitome and epitome were two different words with different contexts and meanings for a concerning amount of time. I'm also this this is also the same man who I'm a I'm a I'm a band kid. Y'all might hate me and go, oh god, no. Get off the stream now. But you you've seen my content on my on my channel. I I'm a band kid. Um in band the oh shoot, what was I gonna say? I don't even remember what I was gonna say now, I just blanked. Oh no, this is tragic. <laughs> okay, wait, no, I got it, I got it. Okay, so yeah, no, in high school, in band. There's, you do all the like exercises when you're starting the rehearsal, right? And so like, we're all doing like, uh, stretches and everything and like, you know, lunges or whatever and like push-ups and we do, we get to this one thing and they're also, they're telling us what we're doing. Like the drum majors are telling us what we're doing over this like terrible speaker. The speaker is, was so blown out or was at a weird angle or was not loud enough or something because I just couldn't understand what they're saying most of the time and so she goes okay next we're doing cat phrases and I'm like cat phrases and so I like and so like, I'm just watching them with people around me and I'm looking at what they're doing and they just put their feet together and they start like going up and down on their ankles and I was like oh okay so I just started doing that too and I was like cool that's what that's what that's called cat phrases didn't know that maybe it's a funky band thing that's funny I guess weird yeah it wasn't until like months later that i realized they were saying calf raises yeah that was good feeling good feeling <laughs> he's like oh yeah that makes way more sense because that was what we were doing I'm getting lost. Where am I headed? Okay, that's west. I need to head. Oh, south, apparently. No, no, no. North is the correct direction. If I can get through the squeeze over here, then we can go further. I think I keep getting turned around and keep going back the same same way again and again. Because I've definitely been through this area with all the gas before. Hello, guests. Yeah, I've been here. There was no quartz in the ground. Oh, something over here. Hey, there was a little bit more behind it. There we go. Do I want that one or do I want that one? There's one over here. I'm going to go for the single first. Just a single. What about you? Hey, there we go. Oh, getting lucky. You're making up for the last one. Oh! <gasps> Okay, I only lost one piece. The one piece. Unfortunately, I'm not an anime guy. I just, I know that one, that one thing. I know, I seem like I would be an anime guy, and I should be. I should be more cultured with anime, but I just haven't found the time, nor have I found the right anime to watch. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions or anything, but... I feel like that's something that has been suggested by uh, by a lot of different people to me that's been like, oh, that's something you ought to at least like look into, like try it once. I'm like, yeah, I should. But I've never found one that's like spoken to, like, you know, been like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a really interesting concept. Oh, no way. I just saw, look at the, look at this. My, my curtains over here. Wait, hang on. That's the wrong side. These curtains are the same color as the nether. That's fun. make a reddit post to see if there's a server that modern version of my stream. true it's a good idea it's a good idea and honestly most of the time when i go to scratch the itch of playing cs2 i just get on cs2 
because that was back when before I had CS2 and I just had Minecraft and I was like 12 years old and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna play an FPS game before I was like had FPS. You yeah, they are merging, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was before I was like had any FPS FPS games, so that was like the one way I was able to play it. <laughs> I don't know why I make a wormhole to get in because I can't get back out. Ooh. I can drop this. That's a good one. Be like one of those tree fellers. <laughs> Not a tree feller. Like a tree fella said incorrectly. I mean like a person who fells trees for a living. That's how I feel. I'm like, yeah, I can drop this here. Yeah, we're just safe. Timber. Hey, chill out with that. Dodged. Oop, oop. Is there anywhere to get through? Holy, I don't want to die. I've got 95 levels right now. That's what happens when you mine a bunch of... I, I think I also had like 60 levels I was on, or 70 levels last time I was playing. Now I have 95. It's from all of this quartz mining, I'm telling y'all. Because I just sit in here for ever until I have the full amount that I can possibly carry or I run out of food which usually run, ends up being first it looks like I am almost out of food and I am bad at I'm bad enough at flying look at this there's like I've picked through this area up oh, there's some over here we're good it's hard to see because of the light again it's like staring almost into the sun So I've been considering, been thinking, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to stay on YouTube. Like I'm, I'm like 99.8% sure I'm going to stay on YouTube, but I've been considering looking at streaming on Twitch just because of the compatibility with like every software and like the chat overlays and everything seems to be more streamlined with that and then also having the ability to post VODs on YouTube secondarily um, might be a way to like split it up maybe but I don't know that also feels like it would make a disjointed community and wouldn't be as fun so I think I'll just stick to uh, bleh, streaming here and then uploading the VODs here as well Yeah, and it's also like when I tell someone like, oh, hey, I'm streaming on YouTube, it's way easier for someone to go, okay, yeah, and just Google my name on YouTube when it's someone, let's say a close personal friend, let's say like it's, or not even a close personal friend, just like any old friend that I know here, it is 10 times more likely that just some random friend of mine that isn't online on both, oh, I could stream on both. Not a bad idea. I'm not sure how that works, if it would be double the bitrate to do that, or if it would be... Because I can, I can co-stream, that is a thing. But I'm curious of what the bitrate requirements would be for that, because I'm currently running industry standard 6K, no, zero dropped frames as of late, so we're doing pretty good. But I don't know if it would be like 8K, because my internet is only 10. And I also live with three other people, so I don't really want to take much more than like six, because six is already like more than half. But, you know, realistically, not everyone is trying to upload at the same time or stream at the same time, so it works out. 
where I'll be able to answer both sides of chat. So that would be something that would be tricky. Would I would have to either have two different chats, like below each other or beside each other or something. Um, or I would only be able to respond to one. Because I know people who do co-stream either say they have like a merged chat where they've made, they either are tech savvy where they know how to write a code that would merge them together. Because you can get the like I don't know what you would call it but you can merge them together into one thing which you would need to know how to like write the code to be able to make them into one feed if that makes sense um, or I th maybe there's a way to do that uh, internally maybe that's already a thing but I haven't seen it well, in my poking around in trying to figure out things similar to that it seems like it would be a relatively tricky process for someone who's it doesn't necessarily require like two softwares or anything do i have another super fortress i do not i we should that would be cool we've got a uh gold farm <laughs> no we've got a, a little blaze spawner area that we've like cleared out and made into an easier area to get uh blaze rods that's what you mean but um we ought to make like a nether base or like a nether hub because like on my old survival world that was like my single player world i loved that world it was my covid world but i just kind of it faded off for me i don't know i felt like i had built most most of the things that i could but on that world i had a great nether hub on that and it was on the it was on the nether roof and everything and it was chef's kiss all the different ice highways it was blue ice boat highways in every direction and every one was labeled so it told you what each one went to like farm wise and oh man it was just immaculate how it all worked and it was very easy it was very like uh not fundamental it was very just like easy intuitive that's the word i'm looking for it was very intuitive to just walk in for the first time and be like oh okay that's what this means that you're going to the farm that produces fill in the blank and then you just follow those signs along the highways which is something that i ought to implement here because i get lost in these highways unless i'm paying attention to the coordinates as well shoot him in the face critical hit you can make it a super fortress out of the nether terrain I see you. yeah there you go some ideas right there see my man's cooking over here See, now this is like a little more like hip hop -y. like it's not, it's still pretty like EDM electronic-y, but it's on the end of like having it on a beatbox in like a movie playing in the background as you drove around in a neighborhood, you know? Not quite. It's a little too bow to bow to bow for that, but... It's got a little bit of like the You know what I mean? He's clean though. Give me the stank face. Full again. And we're almost at one shulker box, shulker box already, y'all. Uh, sir. Rude. So I'm working here. They love to do that. I swear, zombie pigmen go towards. Or zombified piglin, is that what they're gonna is that what they're called these days? Yeah, zombified piglin. Zombie pigmen. Salt pillars would be a great place for a uh, for said another fortress. That's a good idea. You're right. Hey man, you're cooking. You got some ideas. See, you you're like, oh I've got all these ideas for builds. I'm telling you, all it takes is just like a little bit each time you feel like every time you feel like getting on like getting a little bit more progress on your build, it just takes a little bit each time. It doesn't take like 
four hours. Ugh. That was close. Did I hit him? No. Oh, that was close. Nope. Shoot, he was lower than I thought. I got him. Fair. Yeah. Real. Yeah. I feel that, man. Ooh, we got a little got a little pan flute action. Not pan flute, just regular flute. Jazz flute, I guess you could call it. It's just breathy flute, it was made me think pan flute. Am I going closer to spawn? Okay, I am. Good. Because I am almost out of food. Oh, you know what? Instead of going back, I'm right here by this. I'm going to go over here. Because it's very possible that... Or very likely that there are... Uh, hoglins that I can just... Get some cooked beef from. Or cooked pork chops from. Oh, that was some good timing right there. Sir, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. No, go away. Leave me alone. There you go. If I just give him a little little punch, he doesn't like it and he goes away. I don't want to hit the I don't like hitting the little ones. Feel bad about it. And now we have six corked pork chop. That'll last us just a little bit longer. Whoa, hey there. He wasn't even looking at me. He fired that out of his ear. Is this, okay, this is further, this is what I want. This is tricky to navigate. Uh, this could be nothing. Okay, I got lucky. <laughs> Could have very easily just gone into a... Uh... Oh, well, now nah, I think I'm stuck. Oh, that's a lot of pit. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay. What do I do? I have no more fireworks. I have to... Hang on. No more fun. I almost died, and I have 95 levels. And it's going to be really annoying to try to get my grave out of underneath lava. I have three hearts-ish. I probably have... Oh, shoot, dude. Because I don't have any food on my hotbar either, and I'm below nine hunger bars. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Because I don't have any fireworks to get out. I don't have any food to regenerate hunger, or to regenerate hearts quick enough. And I'm under lava, and also, I probably hit the ground, so I'm probably not in the flying animation anymore. Do you have any blocks to build? Yes, I do. That's a good idea. Would I have enough time to float up? Because I have basically two ticks of lava damage. I don't think I would have enough time to build, though. Is my best shot to try to fly out? Or is my best shot to try... Yeah, oh, 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 indeed. See, I'm not seeing the chats over here now. What the heck? Here, look, let's go full face cam that refresh jet overlay too. Okay, hopefully that'll work now. Okay, we're going to have to... My hands are all sweaty now. <laughs> now I'm all nervous. It's okay. It's, we can get this stuff back. It's just um, going to be annoying if that's what we have to do. All right. We were out of fireworks. We're going to go... Hang on. Actually, let's go back to this for a second. Oh, we're still on full face cam. Sorry, I thought we were on the... <laughs> I, had, I had it flipped, and flipped in my brain. I thought the source was the other side. Okay. So when I go in, 
immediately hit inventory, fireworks, look straight up, and try to just spam space bar and right click to get out. And then once I'm out, once I hear the shoe and I turn to not hit the ceiling, because if I hit the ceiling, I'll die. If I can manage to not hit the low ceiling and turn. Okay. All right. Can you fly out of lava? Yes. If I was already, if I was still in the flying... Oh, yeah, you can see him now. Yay! Um, if I was still in the flying pose, then I can very easily just grab the fireworks and just fly straight out. But if the lava was only like one block deep and my feet touched the ground and I went back up to the standing position, it's going to be way harder for me to be able to rise to the surface in two ticks to be able to get out. This is going to be the death of me, you guys. Are you ready? We got this. We got this. All right. E, fireworks, up, right, food, eat. <sighs> Go for it. Hang on. We got out because of that. I forgot that we have two to three seconds of immunity once we get in. We're okay. <laughs> we didn't touch the ground. We got out. We're okay. Now we have to give ourselves this another immunity time to be able to center ourselves. Okay, we're now we've got a heart and a half and we're standing in lava. This is real great. Okay, we got out. <laughs> okay. I'm shaking, y'all. Okay, we survived. Holy moly. Thank goodness for respawn or for loading in immunity. Holy cow. <laughs> <sighs> Let's not do that again. Shoo. Yeah, I had to do each thing step by step. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Oh man, that was, that was exciting. So I guess flying around in the basalt deltas is a recipe for disaster. Anyway, back to the fun times. Where am I? This, <laughs> hang on. There's nothing. Okay, there's quartz over here. I'll grab the quartz real quick because it's tempting me. Don't fly in basalt caves. Yeah, right. Ooh, that was exciting. Oh man. At least it didn't end catastrophically. We're also like 1,100 blocks out. Well, 1,100 by almost 600. That would have been quite the trek to get back to here, to get back to where we died. So that actually went the best that it could have possibly gone. I'm reasonably, oh, whoa, okay. Let's not do it again. Let's, let's just walk. Let's just walk for now. We've got blocks. We've got time. Yeah, I don't have that many blocks. They felt so safe until all of a sudden they super weren't. Yeah, that takes off like half my health just to do that. Good grief. know how to get out of here okay let's try to find which way is the way 
at least in the correct direction. Okay, we found south. Let's head south. Well, that's lava. And so is that. There's a lot of lava over here, y'all. Hopefully we can just speed mine through here. There won't be too much issue. Okay. Hey, we are okay. It wasn't too... Yeah, it's another... I wonder how long this is going to last. How long till we get out of here? Any way over here? Oh, yes, we're out. We're free. Okay, so that way is no go. That way is no fun. We learned our lesson going that direction. All right, I think after we get this filled up, we're gonna go ahead and go back and start building, which I think we have gotten it filled up. Yeah, we have gotten it filled up, sweet. Let's go place these quartz blocks when they're made into actual quartz blocks in the temple. I think I should work on the bricks um, inset portion for yeah, I knew you guys would see me. They do a little a little juking, a little bob and weave action. They're sneaky. At least the child doesn't do anything. I would feel bad about that. This is getting me, okay, half correct. And there's a bunch of quartz over here. I can't resist. I can't resist the urge. Gotta mine it all. These are new chunks. Interesting. We're not that far out, and these are new chunks. I guess I just don't go northeast to this area very often. Hmm. Probably because you have to go through all of this. That was some pretty interesting flying. Went pretty decently well. Oh, and we're almost back. Yeah. Eventually, we'll see just a highway sticking out somewhere. Yep, right here. This is the shortest end of the highway. This is what the portion I thought it would be. Oh, wait, it was the other end that I needed. I flew past the, flew past my portal. I forgot that I wasn't going in from the south side. I was going in from the north side, so everything was reversed. That's my time. Don't need the four gunpowder. There was a skeleton trap up here. I was flying around earlier, and there was a skeleton trap. So I killed all the skeletons on top, and I left all the skeleton horses. So we've got four skeleton horses up here, which is four more than we had earlier. I think we also have, unless he's wandered, we also had one that was down here somewhere. He was just hanging out in this area because there was another skeleton trap that happened over here. I don't know where he ended up. If I'm, oh, well. I don't think they despawned, so he must have just wandered somewhere. Oh, skeleton horse, where are you? Not over here. Hmm. Anyway, he spawned in like right around here. And we had him chilling there. Oh, you know what? I think uh, SW Fish actually moved um, the skeleton horse to back the stables back at the village, if I remember correctly. Do I need any of these? No. One, two. Honestly, I might as well get another stack or two. 
I'll just make one stack of bricks for now. one too many. I was pretty dang close. That was a good guess. Sweet. Let me check it out from the outside. Oh yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. I do wish there was one that had like just that much more texture on it that wasn't lines like the pillars. Um, but that's me nitpicking maybe just a two maybe just a little bit I did not need that much momentum just a little bit to get me over here but if we get these walls built up we can start making all those arches and round um, insets that they're, they were kind of like reliefs but they were the opposite of reliefs um, those circles. You saw them on the front of the example one. But we're going to go for that. Or maybe we could go for different shapes. Maybe that would be interesting. Other than just the, like, kind of boxy circle. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I do not need blackstone or basalt or netherrack or gold nuggets. One, two, three, four. And that work. And this room does the this main room does get bigger or will be bigger. Like it will end up reaching the ceiling portion. It's just that this part is where the there's like circles that go here. What are you using to build? And that you said, uh, this quartz. That was all. This quartz is like the regular quartz is obviously very smooth. Um, and I like the variated texture of the brick for the inset portion of it. Um, which you can tell that is brick kind of a little bit, but it's just, uh, I wish I had, there was like a little bit more, maybe. I don't know. It's also, it's quartz, so it's it's going to be fancy and smooth, right? So, the, the constrictions of building with a certain block, how it goes. All right, now I'm going to have you sit and enjoy this for one second while I try to find this uh, screenshot. Use chisel quartz blocks. Hmm, yeah. There you go. Duh, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yeah. I'm going to try to find the screeny, the screenshot of this. Oh, it's literally on my desktop over here. Nope, not that one. This one. Uh, no, actually, not this one. Yeah, this one. Cool. Sorry about that. Hey, I got shot. I got hit. Cooking zombie. Didn't appreciate that, sir. Walk out of the woods. Um, let me get this picture adjusted just a bit. Okay, so after three blocks, it's one, two, three, and then it's the... Okay, I probably need to get those stair pieces. Give me the stairs. Oh, I almost picked those up. Hmm. 
Mm, do I need 64? I will probably end up needing 64. All right, one, two, three, and then here. And then I need another. Looks like what we're going for. Cool. All right. One, two, three. Wait a second, something doesn't look right. That's what it is. All right, and then the center is gonna be a different, whoops, whoa. Let's make this picture, yup. Sorry. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be four blocks up. One, two, three, four, and then this. One, two, three, four, and then there. All right, good. Yeah, there we go, perfection. Then I think this goes up to just a half slab up there, or just a full layer. Yeah, because we're already above those sides. Too much power. This is a level one rocket, and I just keep flying, it feels like. I need like a level half. Oh shoot, wait, there's another set of round things. Oh wait, okay. We're good because it's only one block like out of here, I think. I don't even know. I'm not gonna worry about it at the moment. Cool. Let's get that on this side. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. And then we obviously have to have the like second layer of stuff there so that we've got it isn't just holes in the building right um that'd be silly ah. there you go slap the base Look at that, we're almost out already of all that stuff that we got. Whew, that's crazy. How's that happen? And technically, yes, I could try to set up some sort of temporary piglin bartering farm system something to do to get courts in a different way. Um but I think that would be a lot of AFKing for gold, or at least try like sitting there at the gold farm only farming gold, which you have to turn your volume down to like zero, or at least the hostile mobs volume, because it is so loud. Two, three, four, and then that goes here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. 
perfect. Um, but I feel like this might be a little bit more interesting is to watch it build. If you mine it manually, you can stream it rather than AFK off stream. Exactly. That's exactly what I thought. It's because it's like I can always make conversation and just yap. I'm great at yapping. But I'm a D1 yapper. I'm a yapaholic. I'm fluent in Japanese. I am the yap master. But uh, yeah, AFK and, uh, and whatnot off stream is kind of just like. Eh, if it has to be done, it has to be done. But it's just, it's more entertaining and it's more fun for you guys to be there and for me to have you guys there with me. It's always more fun that way. Oh, it's too dark now. I'm starting to miss blocks because I can't see because I'm staring right into my stinking key light. Nailed it. Hmm. Oh wait, you are you I was gonna check out the chisel. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a great block. Why wasn't I using that? It's a sick block. Why don't I use that more often? Good suggestion. I appreciate that. You've been all you've been all about having good suggestions recently. You suggesting higher or lower was a great idea. Suggesting this just a part. Uh, well done. I appreciate it. Oh, this is Otter Funk. I can tell because I, I, I was listening to these songs earlier, and I was like, this is a funny song. Because it sounds funny. What, what's it called? And it's called Otter Funk. A fabulous name. Um, I don't remember how far... Now these went, so I'm gonna go. Out to here. Oh, and that that is 30. Okay, wow. Well. Let's check out this one. I need to put some light down here. Put some Well, should I put them there? Or should I put one there? Yeah, probably in the alcoves. At least one. Or two, I mean. One would be weird. Two seems like they fit. I probably should go back and get some more food now that I'm out. Yeah. And they're weird. These always place the opposite of what you think they should place. Like, these look like you place them going this way. Like, they look like the log wrapped around -ness. You know how like the logs, the bur the bark of the logs in Minecraft kind of looks like it? You can tell it kind of goes around in a spiral. This is what this looks like, but it's like the other way. I put your user in a skin suit there and say, ah, thank you. I appreciate it. I made it by myself. It's been, it's been in that way since, oh shoot, like 2019 or so. I love it. It's, it's so dorky, but it's fun, you know. I already see no party. <laughs> Oh man, y'all are goofballs. Y'all are goofballs. Let's get some food. Let's go get some food. Hello, parrot. Good to see you, sir. Uh, wait, where are they? Wait, the food. Over here. <laughs> what am I going for? <laughs> oh man, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. 
Might as well get some rockets while I'm here. Re-up my stash. And then also drop off these while I'm here. See, told you I didn't have very many. I need some more. I was also farming some more of these recently. That's why we've got a decent supply. Um, and honestly, we've got plenty of these, but I'm trying to get more of these because a lot of these, you go into these chests and you're like, oh, it looks way more impressive when you're like, it was way more impressive for me to show you my totems box and be like, oh, couple totems and then just like casually move on. But like you, so I got to, I got to flush this out. I've got all the ones of these, or at least some of them. I'm sure they added more, but I've got a bunch of them. Let's go to the advancements, because I know there's like, there's, I've explored all the biomes except one, or three, pardon me. There's three that I haven't visited, and the problem is I didn't keep track, so I have no idea which one they're needing. What do I do? I don't know. Just keep looking. Just keep exploring. But I'm waiting for I'm waiting for 1.20.1 or 1.21 now because holy cow, that's a big update. I don't know if you guys saw, but they had a they had a bunch of this newest snapshot had a bunch of stuff changed and how like um the getting oh, what's it called? Uh, Get three double chests of nothing but totems just for funsies. <laughs> I'll show you guys my totem farm. It, it isn't anything fancy. It's way easier to get when it's raining because I can just use this trident with Riptide and just fly in this direction-ish and get pretty dang close to the Taiga Forest. Biomes are plenty if you want biome exploration. True. True. But the thing with this is, you know, it's it's we're going for least mods possible so that we can continually keep it through the versions or at least close behind the versions. We don't stay in like right up to date with the versions um, just because it ends up. Oh, man, a little bit of lag on the, for the server. Um, but it just ends up being. Uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember anymore. Oh, uh, there's sometimes like bugs and weird stuff that happens with newer versions that aren't in fully ironed out until like point, you know, another point one, you know, you wait until a point one uh, or a point two. Honestly, we've waited a while for some stuff because I had I had this old survival world a while back that um, was I, I played it all the time, but the thing that got me off from playing it was there was an issue all of a sudden. Here, here we are at the raid farm. It's told you it's nothing crazy, but it all it was that got me from playing was we updated to 1.19 from 1.18, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I tried using a shulker box and I like it was like my food chat, it was like my food shulker box. It was a yellow one. I remember this very distinctly as if it was yesterday, <laughs> and so I use it and I like put food in it or take food out and I break it. And when I break it, I'm in survival mode. I've got my silk touch pickaxe, but it doesn't matter. I break it and it disappears. And I went, huh? Everything inside it was gone. And I was like, wait, but that was like my food joker box that like had like all of my like stored up like God apples and golden apples and stuff in it. Mob farms disguise them as industrial buildings. Hey, see, no, that's what exactly what I'm doing for the factory. Is I'm gonna end up putting a bunch of like, um, like mob crusher, like chicken farm, cow farm, pig farm, things like that. And I also want to get creative with how I make some of them so that it, it looks like crazy industrial or whatever. I think that would be funny. I think that'd be fun. Um, but no, it, it that straight up just disappeared, and I was like, what the heck? And then. Yeah, it really, they didn't want me to have my rations, true. But I, it was like, um, and so, and I didn't have any backups or, of it or anything, and I was very annoyed at myself for losing it, um, for losing all the food stuffs. And then I really, and then I like, right after that, went online and Googled it, right? Cause I was like, what the heck? And I Googled it, and uh, there was a ton of people online that were saying the exact same thing. And I was like, dang, well, I really wish that I had waited until like the next little thing for them to patch that otherwise i wouldn't have lost all of this stuff that's like a super tiny bug that no one would catch unless it was like you know you know released to the public but i i caught something like that once and it soured me from 
being immediately on the new releases, at least for your main world. I have no problem with testing them out on another world or on a backup of something just to like fool around with it. Makes total sense. It's a ton of fun. I'm all for it. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I, I worry heavily about... That was clean. Did you see that? I didn't even run into it. That was some good timing. <laughs> uh, the reason this is over here is because just over here, we've got a pillar drought post. And also, we've got all of these. So I don't know quite why there was all of this smoothing that I needed to do, but I did a ton of smoothing of the terrain. Like, this used to be all spruce forest right here. All of this. And I got a bunch of spruce wood. Um, and your fall shark used to lead us... Don't blame yourself for it. Like, yeah, I, 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 I wish the sentiment I should have had was something like that. That was like, oh, it's fine. I can just either give myself some of the items back or work back towards it or, you know, let it roll off my back or whatever. But it was like, it put a sour taste in my mouth of like, oh shoot, this stuff might not be a hundred percent finished. Like they say it is, um, where, so I, it just worries me is all, that's all. It makes me be like oh, a little cautious that's all and you know being cautious in life isn't always a bad thing i think living in fear isn't a good thing but you know being cautious is good but anyway it's great it's a great fly to get out to this farm because it's basically a straight shot from the base so when you've got riptide it's fabulous here let me get a little riptide I tried setting up my base at a pillager outpost. It took a bit to realize that pillagers were one time spawn. Dude, that is so real. It, it, you would really think that they would be. Like, everything else that isn't has a, like. Hang on. I didn't know there was a command to get so much head until your head is on my base now. Hey, that's so fun. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's so much fun. We have a command set running in our server that when someone gets killed by someone else, the head drops. Um, so you can like keep head trophies, which is fun. That's why we've got a bunch of like heads on note blocks in our town hall is because every person that's come here, we've been like, have to steal your head. Sorry, that's how it goes. But I think we've only ever had, other than me and SW Fish, the uh, we've only ever probably had three other people just like hop on, just to like hang out, or maybe four, not all at the same time, just separate. Died so many times before deciding just did. Yeah, yeah. Pillager outposts, man, they're they're their own beasts. There's there's sometimes where they're extremely helpful, like right by that right by that farm incredibly convenient not that far out only a couple minutes out from i'm now i sound like a real estate agent but only a couple minutes out from the base light jaunt yeah let me go up this way rather than going up the elevator the stylish way Whoop. nailed it that was pretty clean all right onward I don't think that's very accurate of the things that we've explored because we've done a lot of exploring, at least east. We've done a ton of eastward poking around and figuring stuff out. And there's a bunch of cool mountains and stuff to the east, but we probably, the next way that we could start thinking about expanding would be more highways west and obviously north. We've got a ridiculous highway. Monolith from Bedrock to World Limit went really <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, at this rate, at this rate, it seems like pretty feasible. Because, <laughs> like I'm saying, it's little chunks. You just work at it, work at it a little bit by bit, and it's not really not that bad at all. What to do? I want to do something else because I've done a lot of quartz mining today. What else can I do? That was a very interesting ending to that song. It just changed to minor or changed to major all of a sudden and ba 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 oh i can grab some wheat from the villages that's right oh and the reason there's a um wandering trader right here with no ui and he's just chilling here is because randomly one day we were 
after we had built the town hall, because one of the earliest things that was built here, I think the first things that were built as we went across was this iron farm, this Ikea, and then the town hall. Um, but one day we were just walking along here and SW Fish was like, look up. And I was like, what? And then all, yeah. And then we just saw him just chilling exactly like this. Um, but then one of his llamas fell off and yoinked him off and he died. And so it just it, as a tribute, we leave him up there it, exactly where he was when we found him. I mean, yeah, he does look like he's about to jump. I didn't really think about that. He, I was thinking more, he looks like a, like a, a, uh gargoyle like a uh, one of those things that sits on the corner it's like one of those uh creatures but that definitely does look a bit worse than what i was thinking yeah no he's the overlord he's the it's his dominion that's what it is yeah 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 <laughs> yeah no he's just surveying his kingdom all right i think there's wheat over here in this farm can i dodge the trees oh yeah easy money Oh, there is wheat. Gotta love some wheat farms. The classic 9x9 nine nine wheat farm. Love them or hate them, everyone's got them. Unless you do your farms differently, in which case maybe not. But this is the best way to do your farms, objectively. Because look, you got some light in the middle. Yeah, so you don't step on the you step you don't step on the water, it's compact, it's great. I wonder how long it'll take for us. Did we just listen to this song? I swear we just listened to this song. I do aggressive agriculture. <laughs> I just cover the entire terrain. I with I just hoe the entire terrain till it till it all. Till till the cows come home. Because that way, if you've got an entire rolling hill of wheat, then you never run out of wheat, and you never have to wait for it to be grown. It's just always some grown. There was so long that I didn't know what it was to pick a block that you're looking at. I, I don't know why, but for the longest time, I just never knew what that button was, like how to do that. And I was like, is it like a control click? Is it like a shift click? What are they doing? And I would like analyze videos trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's just middle mouse button. You just push in the middle mouse button. But it took me, again, way too long to figure that out. 2B2T Wheat Valley. Oh, yes, 2B2T Wheat Valley. Oh, I love 2B2T builds. They're so incredible. Like the, what, the valley, what is it? The Valley of Christ or the Valley of Jesus or something like that? It's like where they made like over a hundred different statues of the Rio Jesus that's, um, you know, the statue of Jesus that stands over Rio. That is Jesus, right? Yeah. But they made like over a hundred of them in every different type of block building block and out of blocks that you can't usually normally build in which is crazy you, you, you always thought picking blocks was creative thing only it is so helpful when you're doing big builds like yeah i so did i i always thought it was like oh you have to like it's literally picking the block no it's just moving the block up like if this is seeds right here it's just moving it up to your hot bar because i had seeds in my it's gonna take this seed right here ready yeah, it's crazy, but it's, it's so helpful. So the way you don't have to go back into your inventory constantly. I actually, for a while, had uh, the middle mouse button and the number one hot key or the number one key on my keyboard switched for my keybinds because I used to be really, like I said, I used to be really into Bed Wars, and so it made sense for me to have my middle mouse button instead of be a building implement or building tool or it be to hot swap to my number one uh slot which is always my sword um but i don't really need that anymore 
for a reason that I'll show you guys right now. So this is the mouse that I'm using. It's a behemoth. Hang on. This is the mouse that I'm using. Um, I don't know what it's called. Oh wait, hang on. It's like a Utec Venus, a Utec Smart Venus. Um, but it's got like 12 buttons on the side. It's kind of um, a lot, but it is so helpful to be able to just dunk, 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 all the way through using my right, just using my thumb. It's a blessing. It truly is. I never knew MMO mouses were a thing or mice were a thing. Once I found about found out about those, my world had been changed. And I'm full. Can't hold any more wheat or seeds. Overly mud mice seems so handy. Hey, yeah. They definitely, oh, that's why I can't hold anything is because I've just got a ton of seeds in my back pockets. I don't need that many seeds. I do need that many wheats. Um, but I feel like getting like a macro system or something will be, oh no, speaking of macro, that's what I was getting. I was like, I was, there's something about a macro I'm thinking about that I want to say. It, the So on this mouse, there's a little button right here. So like there's you know regular buttons also my ring caused the plastic to turn like texture which is weird because i always wear a ring but anyway the there's like a triple click button right here which if i click it it does it too fast for it to do it in game but i swear it's going duh, duh, duh. like if i go into a uh just a docs sheet real quick hang on and i just start typing a little bit. Triple click would highlight the whole text. And that's just me clicking once. It's crazy. It's so nice. I love it. It's great. Some games get a little really mad about it and think that you're a burst button. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know what they were called, but it is um, good for some things and very bad for some things. It triggers some games anti-cheat like immediately and some games will immediately be like map 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 stop it what are you doing stop you're cheating because it's like either too quick of a succession of button presses for it to register or for it to think that it's a human registering or something whatever it is i've definitely had games be very angry with it before um Luckily, it hasn't been too much of an issue because I don't play too many uh, crazy competitive things. But, you know, every once in a while, I'll hop into a CS2 game or something. But I think it would be cheating to use the burst button anyway without... Because it's, like it's like an unfair advantage, right? In some, in some aspect, it's got to be. In single-player games, ah, you know... You're playing a you're playing a campaign for something or you're playing a I don't even know a single player something and you're just like goofing around it doesn't seem like it's that much of a harm but this wheat will one feed the chest monster that I have in my base but it will also feed the cows in the factory we almost full on wheat again yes we are Rats, now everything's out of order. There we go. You go there. How do you feel about auto clickers in a single player world for mob farms? Would you class that as cheating? I don't think so, because it doesn't seem like you're get you're putting yourself into a uh, there's no co competition there. You're not, um, like, fighting for a rank or a place or a, uh, uh, yeah, a first place or a victory or a certain number of points or, like, heaven forbid, like, money or something. Like, something like that would seem like it would be a little bit more 
disingenuous, like using it in like Rainbow Six Siege or like CSGO or like any or Valorant or any of those team based competitive FPSs where something like that having the ability to switch to burst rather than single fire might be very helpful if it was like a pistols only round or something like that would be something that would maybe win or lose you around but you know if you're if it's if you're just chilling on your own world ah, eh, do you do you man you do what makes you easier for you you're just, you know like i say most times gaming just having fun you just gotta have fun so it's like you know i i don't think that's too much to stress about that doesn't seem like it's too much of a too much of a worry Because, I mean, if you're if you're already kind of cheesing the game by making like a uh, using the I guess you're not cheesing it because you're playing within the confines of the game, but you're using them to benefit yourself, right? Like you're using the specific ways in which mobs spawn and the conditions in which they spawn under to make a optimal farm that gets you the optimal rates some people might argue that that's cheating you see what i'm saying so it's like i don't know man in minecraft it's so ambiguous everything is so like up in the air as long as you're not running like a hacked client or anything and you didn't like pirate the game it's not that big it ain't, it ain't that deep truthfully truthfully where's my wheat am i going crazy I know there's wheat seeds right here. Where's the wheat? Oh, well, there's bread. There it is. Oh, I've got a lot of wheat. I think that'll be enough to go feed them. But first, we sleep. <laughs> Quick little elevator ride up. I see you, Burden. You want some food? There you go, buddy. I love Burden. Even though he is my Burden. He's my Burden. And maybe I could make, like, some smoke come out of here. That'd be cool. It's tricky because it's a square. Wow, that was southern of me. But, um, it's tr It's tricky. I might be able to just put some stuff. Oh, you know what I could do is just put campfires on top and then uh, just cover their sides with like trap doors or something. That way you couldn't see it, but it looks like a little ring at the top. Like, you know how, you know how they've got like little rings at the top of like either like a soot deposit or it's like a heat, heat shield or heat damper and uh, something like that on them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genius ideas, Emery. Genius ideas. Let's go do that real quick. I need to go grab some firework or some campfires and some, uh, let's say, dark oak. Dark oak trap doors real quick. Then we can come back and put those in real quick. The one thing that does a little bit annoy me about this chest monster is that you have to do that every single time you want to go in here. You can't just like fly into the side. You have to go through the lobby every time, which is, you know, it's all right. I don't even know what I came in here for anymore. Where are they? Come on. Do I not have any? I probably don't actually have any, uh, chest crafting table it's always a, oh there's some campfires those are soul campfires i don't think those make as much of a flame as the other ones do spruce spruce will work yeah i'll take spruce um two by two on the wall to fly in yeah i could do that speaking of lobbies do you have a spawn lobby so no actually we should the spawn chunks are basically back at the very beginning coast back where all those floating islands were that we all connected together um 
it's back over there back on the old island so i'll have to go back there and i would have to like spruce it up and make it look nice because we definitely started from humble beginnings and planned on moving rather than tearing down if that makes sense we were worried about becoming rome and tearing down monuments rather than just building new ones in a new location if that makes sense um so we've been very cautious of being like don't tear it down just build a new thing unless it's absolutely like necessary or it feels like that would be better yeah all righty let me look for some logs Have you completed all the advancements? I haven't. I should. That'd be something to do. That's that's four, so I just need to happen these again. Uh, cool. And then I need a bunch of sticks. Probably that many sticks. Alright. And then I think I need 24 coals as well. Eight. Yeah, perfect. Exact right number. Nailed it. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I also need some hay bales to make it go high. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't need those. The reason I'm not picking them up is because I have so many wheat seeds, y'all. Don't need them. Don't need them. I do need some hay bales. That would be a good thing to do while I'm streaming, just get all the advancements, because, like, uh, the Vanilla Tweaks is the... Oh, this guy, this is how I can show you all of the different things that we're using that are, like, the data packs. So we've got the multiplayer sleep, which is now a regular server function that I can change, so I could theoretically get rid of this, but I like how it shows Emery went to sleep. I think that's fun. Um, player head drops, I was telling you about that. When, you, when one player kills another, head dropped. We've got the coordinates HUD, which is the thing you see right here. It tells me my coordinates, which way I'm facing, and the time of day in-game. Um, we've got the graves, which is where when you died, everything is stored in the grave. Told you about that. Um, graze out, if, you graze out your name if you're AFK. That's a helpful one. Anti-Enderman grief. Anti-Creeper grief. And then this is where you can drop concrete powder as a stack, like just drop the item on the ground as a stack into a cauldron, and it makes it concrete, which takes so much less time than doing it the normal way. And it's, again, just one of those things that's like helps. It's just like a quality of life thing. Anyway, the real achievements, which ones have I done? I d haven't gotten a guest of the overworld or furious cocktail adventure. I haven't done this. Shocking, actually. I probably should do that. Um, and obviously, I need to visit three more biomes. Kill two phantoms with a piercing arrow. I could probably do that. Designed to build a Minecraft house. Nice little clip. I'm going to try your idea. Small steps at that. Heck yeah, man. Absolutely. That's a great idea. I am all for that. That sounds like a fabulous idea. They should make a concrete powder mod a real feature. Ah, that's what I'm saying. It's because like every single time you have to put each little block on water or water on the block, it's frustrating. It sounds like a thundering in game. Um, what other achievements? Oh, I haven't struck a villager with lightning somehow. I probably ought to do go ahead and go do that. I've got a. It's thundering at the moment. I think there's a portion of the village that's still in grassy area the problem is it's most of it i put in a biome where it doesn't rain so if you go over there it just stops raining where you at guys it's a ghost town since all of them got killed in that raid i really ought to make more of them where's my there it is how convenient of the thing i know right fabulous timing Guys, where you at? Okay, I'll go further over here. 
Where is everybody? I don't want to strike all of them. See, look, now it's not raining over here. Sir, can I lure you with bread? You don't even care about the bread? Hey, I've got bread. Hey. Oh, yeah, now you're interested. Oh, bread. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Bread? Here, you want bread? Take the bread. Okay, you did. Okay, now you take the bread. No, come back, guys. Come on, I want it to be a little party. Yeah, it's a bread party. All right, one of you, one of you guys is gonna bite the bullet tonight. And it's looking like it's gonna be this dude who just ran over here. Where'd he go? We're on a stealth mission now. Can we strike lightning inside a house? I don't think we can. Rats. We need to go closer to here. Oh, we're so close. Okay. It didn't work. Didn't work. Okay, it has to be raining on the villager. Why is there an iron golem inside of that house? I'm just going to coax him over to the rain. No, 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 come back. We're going this way. Okay, sorry. You didn't... It didn't go. It's like it's not Thunderstorm anymore. <laughs> it wasn't Thunderstorming. It's okay. Rest in peace, that villager. F some chat for that villager, for real. That that villager didn't deserve it. That villager did not have that coming. He could have lived such a happy life. It's tragic. It really is. Ooh, and I gotta put windows on that tower we just flew past. <laughs> Behind us? Did you see that? <laughs> Uh oh, we're gonna need twice as many. Uh oh, we've got plenty of trapdoors. Okay, sweet. I thought I had only brought eight with me. I was like, that's not gonna work. And then hook. Ouch. Don't like it when it singes my toes. Don't don't appreciate that very much. Ouch. All right, how do I do this without dying? Okay, like that. Whoa. All right. Let's see what that looks like. It should be one tall, shouldn't it? Yeah. Looks a little, looks a little phallic. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not, not quite what I was going for there. Let's. It could be all right. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with one. Or here, before I destroy it, let's just out, out. Try building the other one the other way and see if there's one that we prefer. Let me get this one up real quick. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you saw it then. All right. I feel like that's been the, the, basically everything that's happened on this world is we've built it and been like, that's a little phallic. Like there, there's a air traffic control tower. Yeah, a little, little too fast. <laughs> There's an air traffic control tower that we made. Um, that looks quite interesting. I'll, I'll show you in a second. But you can really, your mind can really do things with it. Okay, that's way better actually. I like that. That looks like it's meant to be on the top of it. This one looks weird. And the, this, I don't think the smoke needs to be crazy tall. Oop, 
that's a that's quite the edge to land on. I don't even know if I have to break this with Silk Touch, but I'm hedging my bets. Ouch. Stop burning me. Chop, 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 chop. I probably didn't even get all of them. There's probably some that fell. I'm not too worried, if we're being honest. Ouch. Ow, come on. That was, that was my bad. Miss input, miss input. You calm down. It was a miss input. Oh yeah, that looks great. Yeah. See, now they look too tall to me. Now they seem like this part of it is like twice as tall as they should be because the smoke is going up so high. I can't remember if I asked, have you killed a warden? I haven't. So that's one of the things that I really got to put on the top of my list is like actually exploring in an in ancient city because we've like poked around a little on one, but I haven't like found one. Like I haven't had the au natural experience with one. Like I've had the au natural experience with, <laughs> it's weird to say, but I've had the like normal experience with the uh, trail ruins because I went looking for those like once those were a thing I was like I love archaeology yes anything antiquity art based I'm like yes so you know archaeology close enough I like it so yeah I, I went looking for those but I could never find the ancient city because it was just through caving that you found them and so I'm hoping that on this world or a different world that I'm playing that maybe I'll find something and if I end up finding it, I can make some I can like stream it or something that'd be fun maybe I'll go caving um like far off in this world sometime that'd be fun I should also put some lights in like sides probably okay maybe I won't when there's all these mobs relatively easy to find interesting uh we just get one of their spawns yeah not fine oh okay that's helpful i've got a bunch of mountains i don't know how i was able to sleep just then there's mobs that are right there how did he miss shot right over twice get good skeleton get good And this seems to be most sense making for putting some lights in over here. Oh, and then these go here, that's right. Yeah, that might be a that might be a good thing to try on a stream is to just go like poking around for a for a warden it's just go flying from mountain biome to mountain biome another reason to have an elytra but then flying from mountain biome to mountain biome trying to find one It'd be fun it's a good idea and i could do a bunch more exploring that way as well which i'm always down for i do love a good exploring time that does that is quite fun for me this looks good Again, like I said, solid choice on this. This was a good idea. Um, also, good job on Moyang for making one more quartz style. Because I... It was... It's exactly all you need. Because it's like, I needed that much more variation that wasn't lines. And it was exactly that. <laughs> it was perfect. Alrighty. I think... That is good there. I think next maybe I get the line of lights up there. Those are tricky to get in. Maybe I'll wait until I can get these walls built up to do those. Um, who knows, man? That looks super cool. I love that. Seeing that in the distance. That's fun. Like a, one of those 8D songs that we were talking about. It goes, Nero, Nero, Nero. 
According to the Minecraft wiki, jagged peaks, stony peaks, frozen peaks, snowy slopes, and groves have the highest chance of generating deep dark. Well, thank you very much, good sir. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, shoot, we could probably fly there now and go try to find one. We'll poke around real quick. 80% chance. I would like 80% of the credit for this build on my chisel court suggestion. <laughs> yep, there you go. Gotta do it to him. Gotta hit him with that lawsuit. <laughs> You're like, sorry, sir. I would like to take all of your ad revenue because you used less than 10 seconds of a song by Taylor Swift. It'll happen. Oh, what if I go right here? Because I knew that this was here. So the thing that I wish that I could sh see with the going from version to version is I wish I could see when, in what version a chunk was rendered in. So that way I could more accurately tell, oh, okay, I should go exploring over here in this cave biome. Holy cow, this looks cool. If I could actually see it, it would look great. Pitch black. Oh, there's water. Whoa, that's dark. Hey, hey guys. Okay. Don't like that one bit. Okay, I can't see. If only that was like 8% of the beginning of your... Damn, that's tough. Don't be so hard on yourself. Once you find the right per cave base, yo, yo. So you say, you just said cave base. I'll, let me show you something, because SW Fish made something that you're gonna like if you say cave base. I completely forgot to show this off when I was showing the thing. No, but don't be so hard on yourself. Get, you'll find the right person eventually. The right person is out there. You just gotta look hard enough. True. True. But we're gonna go to this cave base thing that is over here. It's underneath the um, uh, Bass Pro Shop pyramid. <laughs> it's full brightness texture packs if they're allowed in their server. Server. They. I'm the host of the server. <laughs> they're allowed on my server. <laughs> um, plenty of fish. See, <laughs> see that? This about real, true. There absolutely are. You always find another fish or something like that. That's kind of weird because it makes it sound like you're a fisherman or something. But yeah, yeah, the sentiment is there. Absolutely. Alrighty, where? What did I do? I get, I get caught up in chatting and I forget what I came back here to do. I don't even remember what I was coming back here to do. Oh, the cave base. That's right. Duh. Duh, 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 duh. Wait, no, 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 no. Too high. Too, going up too high. Don't want to do that. Here we are. It's right over here. So you would never know it. Well, maybe you would, because it looks really smooth. But there used to be a massive, like, crevice that went through right here. And I don't know how much of it is left. We'll look behind here. Oh, yeah, you can see it. It's like... You can tell here. I, I probably ought to put this back, because we can get back through here. But there's a pipe to get up inside of the Bass Pro Shop. But in here, when this used to be uncovered, this used to be really easy to fly into. And we've got a little bat cave. So this is SW Fish's old base. He's got like a little like landing ship here, which is awesome. It looks sick. You're like, oh. Something he does really well that I wish I did better was he adds all these great little like play feature kind of things to it where it's like oh if i'm building a if he's building a crane that your base says building senses are tingling real and he's like oh if i'm building a crane then i want to be able to get up inside the crane and like stand on it and like whatnot and i'm like that's stuff that i wouldn't always immediately think of it's a good idea so he made that one he's got this like waterfall split over here it looks pretty sick i like it he's got this 
cool little ship over here, which I think is actually based off of the Cyclops from Subnautica that was given wings. <laughs> oh, that's something else I play occasionally that maybe would be interesting to you guys. Subnautica? Yay? Nay? It would be maybe, maybe a possibility. SW Fish was suggesting that to me. Um, and I might do it. I might. But we've got, oh, I haven't showed you guys Grand Central Station either. So, over here, if you take this leisurely minecart ride, we end up in the largest, yeah, it is the Cyclops, yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah you guys like something like that? Yeah, all right, word. I'll, I'll maybe look into doing that again, because I, I have never actually, Yes, so I have terrible philosophobia. It is so bad. And I I love Subnautica, but I also really hate when I feel like I'm gonna die the entire time, you know? <laughs> like, and I'm not, not like, oh no, my character's gonna die. No, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack because I'm like, it. Oh, it's so unnerving. That entire, everything about that game, the ambiance of it, the like sounds of like the ocean around you. Oh god. Whoa, whoa. I played that game for a while. I have a couple, maybe a hundred hours, maybe a little bit less, maybe a lot less. I don't remember on Steam. But that game, that game spooks me. Spooks me. It would be good to have you guys here. You guys would help me out. You guys would keep me sane. I would appreciate that. But this is a, what we called Grand Central Station because it's like a very heart monitor over like, hey, there you go. That would be that would be some good content right there. That'd be fun. <laughs> my heart would be like, because my heart does that often. It's real fun. Uh, what's the scariest encounter you've played in that game? You said the sea moth got jumped by a reaper. Yeah, yeah. Anything like past the aurora, like anything past that drop off, or really anything to the south of the map as well. That's like, I've never gone to the sea treader path. I've never, like, there's stuff in the game that I've like, I've just straight up never gotten to. And I would love to be able to like actually beat that game because like, SW Fish was telling me, I really need to figure out a better way to to call him. Cause I don't, I, I just, yeah, anyway, um, fish, <laughs> I don't know, fish, he was telling me, um, he was telling me about stuff in that game and I was like, I've never gotten to this stuff before. Cause I remember like really early in the game when like there was nothing like the rocket ship took you off the planet or something and like, or like that was but that was always put way earlier in my mind. Like there was stuff that I never looked at. Uh, make every beep of fine boom. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, but um, you call him fish. Yeah, yeah. You get called box. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll call him fish then. Cool. I just, it's one of those things where I'm like. I don't know. If, I feel like I should call him his uh, his username, just out of like respect, because it's like it's a little weird. Like I'm fine with dropping my name, but like he might not be, so I probably should just stick with that. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, that's that. Anyway, um, this is the Grand Central Station area where we've got like all of these different uh, tunnel systems that lead underneath the village. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's where we get a lot of our stone, and then down here we had like a little, um, like par like kind of parkour combat area that we made. It's hot in here, dang! I don't know, turn up the heat or something. It's roasting in here. Um, and oh wait, and then lower down we've got the deep slate. Which I leave the ores here because you never know. I might want deep slate ore of a specific kind. And it looks kind of cool to have them floating. I don't know. But yeah, you, when you got a big build, you got to have a lot of deep slate or a lot of whatever. So you end up doing this and you just try to hide it as best you can. Oh, there's a slime in here. Hey, slime. That's funny. I thought it was one of those fall things. You have to fall to the bottom without hitting anything. 
Oh, oh, like a dropper map? I love a good dropper map. Those are fun. That would be a good idea. We should do that. Because I know we made something similar on this side of the village. Early, early on. This was like, I mean, before we even made the village, we made this. It was like the first thing we did over here was we deleted like, for no reason, we just went straight down to bedrock right here. Just... And then we put glass over it, and then also to let light in, we let we left a little gap there right there. I don't know why we did that, and I think there's an Enderman down there still. I think that Enderman's been down there for like thousands of, like at least a thousand days. He's been down there for a long time. Ah, <sighs> this stream is is primarily other stream suggestions. Yeah, yeah, basically. And honestly, I appreciate it. I mean, I'm still like I'm still relatively new streaming like i'm relatively new to streaming i've only started this like well shoot this month last month like it's been about a month i think of me streaming and then i also had that like week and a half to two weeks of break where i had spring break and i was making other content you started a terraria world with endgame 12 <laughs> pov you started in a terraria world with endgame 12. <laughs> yeah dude it is a lot oh i got if you'd like to see, I can show you all of our farming or all of our tunnels underneath the nether that we've had to do for netherite farming. Yeah, he is in Life Center. He's been there forever. He's a perpetual resident of this server because he's holding a block, so he's not going to despawn. And he's also not going to get aggroed or get anything by the rain or the anything like that. He's just going to be there forever. <laughs> slash day. Wait, not slash time. Query day. 2264. Alrighty. Swag. Well, I think Enderman stole the whole <laughs> Yeah, no, that entire chunk. He's holding that whole chunk in his hand. You can't see it because it's like it squishes it in so he can hold it all, but he's holding that entire chunk in his hands. He's the one that did it. He just took it. He just really wanted it. Alright, there's a bunch of mobs over here. Run away! Fly away! Ooh, this is a cool view. Yeah. Sweet. Anyway, I think this is where I'm going to end up tuning down the stream for the evening because it's getting a little later and whatnot, but I had fun tonight. Thank you all for tuning in and everything. I always appreciate the company as always. Um, this is always fun. Um, I'll be back Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you then. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great evening and everything. I'll see you around. See ya.